Welcome back guys, I'm Christian Beyer, coming to you from the Fabic Caterpillar dealership shop here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Today, I'd like to go over what my life is like as a heavy equipment diesel technician. I had a lot of requests, people wondering if I could do a day in life or some footage of me working on the Caterpillar equipment. Now, due to the fact that I do work for a dealership and I'd like to keep my job, I I'm pretty limited on what I can film while I'm actually on the clock working, but I am able to grab some segments on my breaks and a little here and there of what I'm doing, kind of updates, um, flashes into the things that I work on uh, here at the shop. So I'm going to put those together uh, as well as a little bit of the work I do on the side and kind of do a voiceover explaining what those things are and see if you guys like that. Uh, so here it is. So this haul truck here came in uh, not shifting, not driving, and after some troubleshooting, uh, it turned out that the fluid was really, really nasty in this transmission. So um, basically figured out that they hadn't been changing the oil and it was really sludged up. The modulation valves were pretty much stuck and it wouldn't shift into some of the gears. So. We obviously pulled the transmission out of the truck and tore it down here we see it all tore down on the benches uh, all tore apart there's seven clutch packs in this transmission uh, and obviously all the hard parts several planetaries I'm not sure I don't remember exactly how many we went through the uh, torque converter you see sitting there well, that's already back together when this was shot so basically pulled apart laid all out in order just how it is uh, this everything on the tables here is all cleaned up and resealed so basically keep everything organized and cleaned and covered when you're not working on it that's basically how I do it so real quick guys I just uh, laying underneath this haul truck cab this is a 740b haul truck uh, I'm doing a rebuild I just finished the rebuild on this transmission so I just wanted to show you around a little bit under here and you know first off I wanted to point out this headlamp this thing this Milwaukee headlamp is just a bomb it lights everything up really well so in these dark places it's really nice um, also you know I, I'm a five-year mechanic and uh, you know so for me and I hope it lasts a long time but the feeling of doing a full rebuild like this and taking it out for the first test drive and having it go well. It's just no other feeling. It's the reason I do what I do and love what I do. So I want to do that in here, show you guys around a little bit. Turn on this headlamp. Okay, just putting this tranny cap on real quick. Just finished testing pressures, took it out for the first test drive. Shifts really well. Basically what was wrong with this tranny is it was all gunked up and so pulling these modulating valves off, it was just piles of literally thick, nasty gunk under them. So it was about 9,000 hours on this truck and they hadn't been changing the oil. So that's basically what happened to it. You know, it was kind of a failure on their part. These trannies should last, you know, 10 to 15,000 hours very easily, you know, closer to that 15,000 hours. Uh, I actually have another tranny, the same tranny tore down in another bay right now that uh, is at almost 15,000 hours. So if you change the oil on these things, these older trannies last, you know, so just getting things tied up under here and we'll do a little more test driving tomorrow and wrap up this job. So just a quick update tonight, guys. Uh, this is the same truck here that I just finished up this tranny on, I was working on last night. Uh, I got the tranny tied up and got a couple other segments on this job. So right now I'm doing the last one, which is uh, pulling this brake pump. This Integra seal, they call it right here. Pretty, pretty well known for leaking. So we're getting that changed here. Pretty easy job, just pull the fuel filters off here and few lines and pull that pump out so change that seal and 
That'll finish this up tonight. So with this truck, this is a 745 versus the 740B that we've seen in the last couple jobs. Those of you that work for CAT, uh, the handful of you, know that there's obviously a lot of service letters on these uh, trucks. They've had a lot of issues with them that have been keeping us busy. One of which is the differential dowels inside the differential. So this is the front differential out of this truck. We took it out to do the update and as you've seen there that carrier bearing has been just chewed up and destroyed um, whether it was from being set up wrong or uh, possibly just debris ran through it and really damaged that but either way we ended up going through it replacing all the bearings doing a full bear rebearing reseal um, because of the amount of metal in it you see me here torquing in the final planetary the final drive planetary um, we've just pulled out both planetaries without pulling the whole final off just to clean them out and I was able to pull the ring gear out and clean out all the metal and old oil just to make sure that everything's clean and contamination free before we go back together with it. So here you just see me with my tech angle just doing the final torque on all these bolts. Alright guys, so to show you a little bit what's going on tonight, uh, working on rebuilding the cylinder over here in the cylinder bay. So this here is our cylinder bench that we can stretch cylinders out and pull the rods out of the cans. Behind it here under the plastic is our hone bench. That's how we run the crosshatch into the cans. We do that every time we rebuild one. This here is the cylinder that I'm working on. It was a really rough cylinder in a bad environment and came apart really tough. Uh, looks like they had to use heat in order to pull it apart here. I heard that the threads were pretty damaged on it and they did a bunch of cleanup on it already, but I'm just finishing up and putting it back together. For those of you that don't know uh, how hydraulic cylinders work or don't know much about it, uh, this here is the head that would go on to the cylinder rod first, followed by the piston, thread on over these threads, and then there would be a nut that goes on here. That whole assembly then slides into the barrel here, and the head threads into the barrel. Uh, then obviously, the, the rod travels up and down the barrel. Uh, there's a set of seals that goes onto the head and the piston here. That's obviously what we're replacing, putting a new cross hatch into the barrel. Uh, that cross hatch keeps the seals lubricated and uh, assists with the sealing process. So this one obviously is pretty bad condition. Uh, normally it's just some leaky seals and they're really not this bad a condition, but uh, putting a little extra time into this one, cleaning it up and getting it ready to go for the customer. So on my weekends that I'm free and I'm not working overtime or with family or my girlfriend, uh, I actually go uh, about an hour and a half north of myself. My uncle has an electrical company. So I head up there and I work for the weekend uh, doing electric uh, electrical work for them. Uh, you know, a lot of what we do is uh, second homes and cabins. So we get into homes like this that are brand new. These are real easy, nice homes to wire. Uh, some of the jobs aren't so much, but he's very busy and always looking for the help and it's super nice for me. Uh, you know, a little extra cash money to, you know, bring in and uh, the flexibility to just go up there whenever I'm available and he's always got work for me being that they're super busy and always backed up. So this is just a little bit of the work I did one weekend. Um, right here it's just... A little bit of a time lapse of me putting together an outlet receptacle and uh, did a whole bunch of this in this house this weekend as well as some can lighting you've seen in the first clip and yeah that's what I do on my weekends to keep busy and make a little extra money you know as a mechanic uh, you know even making good money there's always 
the desire for more money so things like this are nice keep me busy i enjoy working with my hands and i really enjoy the trades so that's why i enjoy doing things like this well i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, let me know down in the comments section if this is something you want to see more of i can keep you up to date uh, as my weeks go on here as to what kind of jobs i'm working on if that's something you all want to see go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications and uh, that way you can keep up to date on the latest content I bring you. I really appreciate the support from you guys so far, and I'm looking forward to bringing you more content. Thank you very much. Christian Byer signing out.